We get word there is a small weather window coming, so we bolt back to base camp where the big boat is anchored up. We finally have a day to go offshore. So Savo, what we're going to do is we're going to head about 10, 11 mile offshore to an island called Rocky Island. Now I'm assuming it's made of rock, uh, but apparently out there, it, there's, a, there's like a huge bird rookery and quite possibly a lot of turtle action. And the fishing, they reckon, is off the charts. So let's see what we can find and check this place out. I'm, I'm excited about checking it out. There she is, boys. Just in the distance. You can see there's just a mass of birds all around this island, flying around, there's heaps of booby birds. But right up on that top of that rocky ledge there, they're, they're nesting, they're all nesting, or they're sitting on something. We'll go and check them out. Hopefully we won't disturb them too much. How cool is this? This is a pretty cool spot. This is all time. Wow. This is just raw nature right there, dudes. Oh, yeah. Undisturbed. Too. Yeah. Undisturbed, other than our presence yeah. now. Yeah. Undisturbed. We've arrived bang in the middle of nesting season. There's everything from eggs to these yeah, big fluffy yeah. chicks. Big fluffies. They're awesome. The island, as far as you can see, is covered in them. Literally got to be thousands. The mum over there sitting on a baby almost as big as her. Let's go and have a look up on the top. Size of this one, Simon. Gee, it is big. It's prime real estate up here. <laughs> It's hard to fathom how many birds there are. The camera just doesn't do it justice. So when the camera zooms in, you can see birds just packed everywhere, the whole length of the island, as far as the eye can see. So the only seabirds nesting on this island at the moment are these booby birds. Now they're ranging from basically the egg right up to big fluffy white juveniles. Now, these ones here obviously can't fly yet because they've still got their little, their little fluffy white feathers and eventually they'll grow a lot bigger and they'll start to shed that and they'll start growing proper feathers like their parents. Now this one here has got a pile of, of fish, a little bait about that long in a big clump. There's two little clumps near him. So obviously the mother has flown out to sea or possibly the father, and they've come in and they've regurgitated a lump of this fish here. Now the only other birds that you can see on this island are seagulls. Now the seagulls are the predators. They're here for an opportunistic feed. And as soon as one of the birds, one of the parents leave the nest, they'll go in and they'll peck the eggs and they'll kill the egg. But it's just fascinating that on this island is completely untouched by humans. So this island here is one of the largest bird rookeries in Australia. There we go, mate. I'll leave you be, eh? I don't want to annoy you anymore. There's a turtle just crawling out of the beach, off onto the beach up there, look. Yeah, well spotted. Oh, green turtle. That's a big male. It is What's too. he doing on the beach? Having a rest, Todd. It's mating season. He's, He's worn out. out rest. He's worn <laughs> out, mate. <laughs> it is too. Look at the tail on it. Yeah, that's a big male, mate. Whoosh. He's yeah, out of there. Wow. Quickly. You don't see the males on the beach that often. No. There's some tracks from just recently. Yeah, females as Tracks here. Well. Tracks over here. Another set of tracks there. You can see a couple of turtle tracks. There's a few females starting to lay. But this entire beach from one end right down to the other, 
Looks like it's all been dug up and it's, it's diggings from last year. Come back here in another three, four months. This will just be absolute carnage right the way along here. All turtles just digging holes everywhere. Everywhere. That's enough raw nature. It's time to go fishing. Big fish. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. You on? Yeah. Simon's yeah. on. That's unstoppable. That's my kind of fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to use bait. Oh, he's got off. Oh. Coming up. Coming up. And it's a Chinaman. <laughs> there must be a monster school down there. Oh. What is it? Oh! What have we got? Oh! Come on! Oh, Come on, man! But a big giant from, from hell! Size of that fish! You got him? Oh! oh look at that thing! <laughs> Pull your freaking arms out! Trout! Hey! There we go! Hey, hey, hey. That's what we want! Hey. So, the boys have got some big Chinamen, but i got a big fat trout, and you can eat this sucker. Look at the size of that thing, that is a horse! Literally, it is every drop, and we've been here for like 30 seconds. Hey, a beast. All you got to do is just get a lure down the bottom and hop it, and that's all it takes. And these fish are so competitive, obviously thick. Don't see a lot of lures. Makes yeah, for a whole lot Ooh, that's peeling line. Oh, I just got popped. Oh, Simon's in all sorts. Simon is getting what you got? leveled. Absolutely leveled. Mate, you're, you're in trouble, Simon. I'm in mean, lots of trouble. You're in lots of trouble. Oh. <laughs> they pull me out of the boat. They just hit hard and go hard to start. Oh, oh. And up we come. He's gone. There's so many got? fish on that together. I don't know. Trout here. Now he's got a small trout. Hallelujah. Tasty ones. It's a workout. There's Let something else to Awesome. Common coral Go. trout. Tick. So tasty. Tick. Tick. Um, Tick. Tick. workout. Oh, I wish that was a big trout. What do you got? Nice work, Jason. <laughs> oh, that is just nuts. That is insane. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that is a fish from hell. Wow. Size of that thing. That wow. thing must weigh like what? What do you reckon? Oh, no, At no, least no. eight, nine? No, easy. Oh, see you, buddy. <laughs> this is nuts. What do you got, nine? Oh, I'm just getting bruised, mate. I'm getting seriously bruised. Got any colour yet? Mate, pound for pound, how hard do these Chinamen go? Oh, they punch, mate. Oh, no! Is that still that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> I need a pair of yeah, All sorts there. of trouble. I must be schooled right up. Oh, what have I got? Oh. Something different. Oh, look at me go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. There's a table fish. Look at that. <laughs> Long nose emperor, and it's solid. It's a cracker. Absolute Rip. cracker. <laughs> I'm loving this joint, dude. Is that just not the sexiest looking streamlined fish you've ever seen? It's all time. We're going to eat that one, sorry, but we are. Yes! <laughs> 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 oh, it's gold. It's a Chinaman. Now, we might have to make a move because we are getting hammered by Chinamen. And the one thing I do notice is the sharks, they are there, but they're not smashing the Chinaman. Not sure why, but they're probably not a prize table fish for the old shark, and he's a bit fussy around here. <laughs> These rods are got an absolute punishing. Look at that. Just punishing it. Oh, they fight like... Great trains. Fight like a Chinaman fish. <laughs> Going with the uh, metal jig at the moment to see if we can vary things up a bit and maybe get another species. Oh. It's very hard getting past these guys. Trout. Changed yes. up and caught a trout. There we go. That's what you got to do. I think we got to change up. I haven't even stopped this one yet. Haven't you? Nah. Oh, this is different. Oh. This is the same but different. Same but different? We're not sure. He reckons he's cool and different. Mmm. Oh, like, just a stoinking giant. Just a, just a bigger. Oh, it's a stoinker. It's a <laughs> Look at that. I'm like, really? That's a cracker. That's I think that deserves one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you calling? 
Yeah, I'm going to Jonathan, of course. <laughs> <laughs> just, got, just got colour now. Okay, this is a good fish. I'll come and get ready. Might be a chi yeah, Chinaman, I reckon. I think I got what he's got. Big. Something big. <sighs> What's yours, right, Gubba? Oh, well, thanks, mate. Have a Chinaman. Have a Chinaman. Big one? one? Yeah, he's solid. Yeah, good solid one. Aren't they absolute beasts? But you couldn't eat them, because they'd be pretty tasty. But uh, running that risk of cigaterra poisoning, not one you want to take. Besides the fact, Queensland, you're not allowed to. Oh, yeah! Peel and line! Come on, Jase. Oh, I'm putting some hurt on that fish. You boys aren't it's jabbing as much as you were a couple of minutes ago. Oh! oh. It's got to be quiet in the back corner. <laughs> There's work going on. It's the most peaceful it's been all day. Come on, Jase. Oh. Have a go. Who's going to win? Go, Simon. You got him. Simon, oh, you got him. Come on, Simon. Come on, Simon. Got Come on, Simon. Yeah, you got him. Oh. He's going to win the race. Oh, my God. It's hard work, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. If you could go catch a fish work. Oh, it's a Chinaman from hell. Of course it's a Chinaman from hell. It's a Chinaman from hell. Got him. Good job. What do you got? Guess what? Chinaman. Simon's is a big one, too. Watch that hook there. Good job. Oh, yours is bigger than mine. Simon's is a beast. That's a stonker. I'm actually kind of glad I wasn't part of that. That's better watching. That's some big fish, mate. I've never seen so many big nah, fish either, in ever, one area. Ever. This stuff's gold. The wildlife out here is really healthy, isn't it? Oh, it's Whole insane. Healthy as. Insane. We're going in, mate. We're going in. Going in hard. Double drop. Ready? One, two, two three, three, go. Mornington Island has been an absolute cracking joint. Nothing but some of the best four-wheel driving and fishing you've ever seen. Don't you agree, boys? We've had a fat time here, and what I like is, like we said, end of every track, there's fishing. There is, and you boys did get axles deep on just about every track. <laughs> no, no doubt about that whatsoever. How good was Rocky Island? Oh, mate, that place is insane. Fishing is off the charts. Want full episodes of All For Adventure ad-free? Go to unleash.tv for our full library of content.